All right, 15rounds.com here with a uh, trainer of uh, Super Bantamweight prospect, Roman Morales, just got his 11th win here at the Shumash Resort Casino in San Inez on Showtime. Uh, Rodolfo, tell us about the win. Well, like I was uh, working at the gym, happened, exactly. Shoulder work, all his skills. You know, we know we have a top, a top and top opponent. You know, with 11 wins, two defeats, and only one draw. Five knockouts. You know, somebody will want to give us a good fight to show everybody where we've been working. So everything was perfect. We worked exactly like the plan we had. The game was perfect. You know, working angles, body shots, and then cross, right cross. Happened exactly how we were planning. Uh, Roman looked uh, really solid, uh, you know, uh, switching from southpaw to right-hander and catching him coming in, countering him very well. Uh, the one thing uh, I noticed, it, it seemed like he was a little, uh, he was, he allowed himself to be hit a little bit more than he had in the past. Was that anything to do with the fact that Santiago seemed to be a smaller guy? No, exactly. Um, I was telling him, you have to keep your hands out because uh, he was kind of like a number. He's not. He didn't hit it hard, he surprised by it, no, yeah, but, you know, everything could happen in boxing. One punch in the right place, you're going down, so it's better to keep your hands up. So, he was trying to show, you know, his, his skills as uh, defense and everything, that's why he was putting his hands down, he got some, uh, some hooks, you know, so I was telling him, just keep it up, keep your hands up and keep showing all the things that you've been learning. So, Good. This was a big night for him, his debut on Showtime, the, the opening bout on premium cable tonight. Well, we can say yes, but his record, the kid's tough, he's going forward, he has a good trainer, you see, Roger Mayweather, so I know that's the way he's going to be in, in, in the ring, but all his advices against Roman was good because he was catching Roman with some hooks when he was putting his hands down. So, it's good upon it. So I can say, we'll point, we'll record. He led us to show where we've been working on. Uh, Roman's been sparring with a lot of the top guys in the gym. Uh, how, how have you liked his development since he only turned pro uh, less than two years ago? Well, his development is better. You know, he's been listening, listening to all the things we've been talking. He, he sparred with, like you said, the top uh, uh, pros, like Charles Huerta, Monito Donet, all those guys. We give us a lot of good rounds, a lot of experience. We get all the best ones, best thing for them. So he's been improving more things. He knows how to back up, how to move around, how to do the, the rope now. You know, things where he's been learning little by little. We want to keep learning. You know, boxing, we never finish. You have to keep learning. Roman's got a uh, another fight already set uh, August uh, 24th in Tulare, not too far from where you guys are based at, San Ardo. Is there Was there any injuries or anything in this fight that might nothing, prevent that? Nothing, nothing happened. I was good. I had a headbutt at the end of the, the last round, but he was clean. He's clean. His little bruises in one week is going to be gone. We're going to be ready for uh, August 24th in Tulare, California. How many days off do you give him? Does he get to relax the rest of the weekend and then get back in the gym Monday? No, you know, usually I uh, just give it two or three days. Like today was a good fight, eight rounds, he worked hard, so I'm going to give it three days. They, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and he's going back on Tuesday. And you guys are fighting uh, Jonathan Alcantara, uh, you know, not a very good record, but a very tough fighter. He's giving oh, yeah, a lot of yeah. the top guys uh, no, we have trouble. A lot of and uh, you know, this fight's been scheduled before. How much are you looking forward to finding Alcantara already? You know, uh, it's already three times. This one's going to be our third, third time where we've been, you know, trying to have the fight set up. Now it's going to happen. So I hope nothing happened from right now to the 24th. But he signed the contract, he's ready, so we want to be there at 24. And I know we'll have another, another big, big fight. Because, like you say, the record is not very good, but he is tough. He's uh, from Salvador. You know, he's going to go forward and forward receiving, and I don't know, it's going to be a lot of work. It's been scheduled three times already, so I'm pretty sure you've studied up on him pretty well. Uh, how, how do you see that fight playing out? Well, I know he's going to come with everything crazy, and I want to be trying to catch him up to, like today, show all uh, uh, San Joaquin Valley, which is, we've been working, uh, fighting a lot in amateur. He's not, he knows, everybody knows him over there. There's a lot of public over there in, in 
how we can buy it. So what is good is to be, what you show the people, what is his, his skills, everything, the events, and then if the knockout is coming, it's going to be good. If not, he'll show all the things he's been working, he's been what? learning. All right, thanks, Rodolfo. Uh, looking good so far. Looks like a future champ to me. Uh, good luck. Thank you.